uh, the bench press probably just because it's the first thing we get to do and uh, that's kind of like a big man type of drill so anyone from Ohio State reach out to you tell you what to expect this week uh, I talked to a lot of former defensive linemen like uh, Sam Hubbard or Jalen Holmes or Tyquan Lewis what they tell you uh, just be prepared be ready for anything you know? and, um, overall just enjoy this experience what kind of player are anyone that drafts you? What kind of player are they getting? Uh, hardworking, consistently trying to improve the player. It's going to add value to a club. What about your teammate, Chase Young? Uh, very explosive, hardworking player as well. Thank you. Any specific goals you have for the bench press? Um, you know, I'm just trying to do my best, you know. Uh, you know, it's always a competition, so I'm going to be the winner. You had a solid career first until, until your senior year. Then you really blossomed last year. What was it about that that allowed that to happen? Um, I just feel like I was able to have enough experience and really understand the defense. And I feel like as a defense as a whole, we came together and unified. So it just made it real easy for anybody to really blossom. How what different you, a player are you now than, let's say, a year ago? Um, I feel like I'm a lot different. I mean, I've learned a lot. I feel like I've really ex exploded onto the scene and uh, just been really blessed. What do you feel like you're going to be able to prove this week? I'm um, going to show some ball clubs that what I can do and um, how I can beat for the most part. I mean, that's really just why we're here. You're one of a uh, you know, few defensive tackles in this draft class. Uh, B.B. Landers, Jay Sean Cornell, are they keeping in touch with you at all, kind of asking you yeah, how this process is going? Yeah, I talk to them pretty much every other day. I mean, they're having fun where they're at. And just blessed to be able to train, be able to go to pro day. Um, I'm excited to see them. What would you say about you know those guys? Why you know teams should look at them? Um, they're very, very hardworking people. I mean, everybody in the room. That's kind of how you get there. I mean, you can't be a slouch walking into the room. And I feel like they give a lot of stuff to the club as well. Um, very hardworking, consistent people. Were you surprised they didn't get invited here? Um, maybe yeah. I mean. They really, they worked hard just like I did. I mean, honestly, they were just as talented, so. When you look, like, your name hasn't been coming up in a lot of mock drafts, and after the year you had, that at least kind of surprises me. Do you feel a little underrated right now? How, how do you I mean, feel? Honestly, I ain't even be looking at it, you know. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I land where I land. You and uh, Malik's talking later today. Yes, sir. You know, two local guys. Uh, I mean, how close are you guys? And, and your journeys are kind of <laughs> similar. <laughs> Uh, honestly, me and Malik uh, <laughs> kind of goofballs. Uh, we're one of the best friends I have on the team, you know, both from Columbus. We kind of all came in. Well, he came in a year after me, but, I mean, ever since we've been together, we've been best friends. So, I mean, it's kind of funny. <laughs> we ended here, I mean, I was his roommate at the Senior Bowl, so it just never stops. <laughs> are you his roommate now? No, no, no. I'm with uh, Chase Young. Why, how are you goofballs? Um, I'm just, we're just goofy personalities, I feel. like outside of everything. <laughs> any, any examples you can share? Um, you know, every time we meet each other or every time we see each other, like down the hallway, we always pose, always try to see who get the best pose or whatever, uh, cracking jokes all the time. That's how important was that senior week for you and as far as maybe building some momentum for this? Um, honestly, I feel like it was really important. I mean, um, a lot of people would say, the competition or the amount of reps I got like as, a, as the season went on wasn't as much as most other people. So being able to show myself at the Senior Bowl really helped the stock a little bit. Do you have any goals for the testing? Just, just do the best I can. <laughs> Does it help you feel more prepared for this process that you've already had a chance to meet the NFL teams at the Senior Bowl and all that? For sure, for sure. I mean, it makes it a little bit easier for me. But at the same time, we, I kind of know what I'm expecting. Sure. What the conversation's like with Coach Jay? Uh, right now, because I've been out and out. Uh, it's been great. You know, he checks in on me every once in a while, make sure everything's okay, make sure I'm doing well on the board work and whatnot. And, Maybe he's going to be here on Saturday, so I'm excited about that. Do they change it all now that you're not in his room every day? Or is it the same conversation? No, same conversation, same guy. <laughs> so he's still pushing you. He's still, still expecting the same stuff out of you. Is there any one play that you absolutely blew up in your college career that really speaks to you, shows the NFL who you are as a player? Um, I wouldn't say just one play. I would say probably the first time we played Wisconsin. I feel like that shows a lot of the person who I am.
coming from being How much do you feel like, you know, that whole experience at Ohio State coming out of such a, you know, talented room helps you now as you kind of try to distinguish yourself again here? Um, honestly, this kind of really helps you out, you know, being able to play at that high of a level and being able to play against the competition you play against. I mean, not saying the NFL is any easier, you know, obviously you're going to get more competition there because it's elite players, but it just kind of sets you up kind of let you know what you're going to walk into.